Good morning, it's me and day seven. Whoa. <laughs> so as I was saying before, I dropped the phone on my face. It's day seven here. So I've been here a week. Today after today I would have been in Thailand for a week here in Rawai and Phuket. And I gotta say it's been fucking amazing. I've seen a little bit of Thailand. I've eaten a bit of Thailand. That sounds a bit weird. I've done my first Muay Thai session yesterday. Two Muay Thai sessions yesterday. My neck is fucked if we did clinching. Oh, I hate that we don't do clinching for ages. My shins are hurting because they're still not healed, so they're just killing. Or oh, I'm a pussy. Um, and uh, so far, it's just been amazing. And I can imagine going home being depressed. That always happens when I go do clinch. I ain't going for ages. My neck, my whole back just gets fucked. But I've got yeah, I'm used to it, which is great. I will. And wow. It is sunny. Cars are mad as well. So it skipped for like 20 minutes. And I'm for like three weeks as well. Maybe in four weeks. So this is what happens when you come to Thailand, if you're going to do Thai boxing and you've done it properly for ages, like you haven't done it intensely, you're going to ache the next day, but it's fine because you just get used to it. So this was a good choice to get the blender and all the ingredients to make my breakfast because I just have it quickly and go training or whatever. But I found that getting food from restaurants is actually cheaper. I think it's cheaper than buying all the stuff that I got from Macro. It tastes a hell of a lot better. So I don't think I'm going to buy food and make it. I'm going to just buy it in restaurants and because it's cheap and it tastes nice and it's got more ingredients than I buy anyway. And yeah, like I said, it tastes much better. Oh, it's so sunny today. I'm off to uh, near Tiger Mai Tai. There's a, the barbers there. I'm going to get my beard trimmed, hair trimmed and that. So it can look sexy for all of Thailand. <laughs> uh, obviously an expert now into how to unlock these uh, these bikes, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's it. So when I've been in Phuket, they've got people in the petrol stations, they fill up your petrol fuel, or you've got these by shops and all sorts. Yeah, you just put your money in. Let's see if I can get this money to work, because it's a bit folded. Okay. <laughs> Take this here, put it there. That actually stays there because it's locked in. Press the start button. Those up. Feels that shit for you. I mean, you could hold it by itself. But yeah. And then when it's done, boom. Sorted. You put whatever you want in there, how much you want, whatever note you want, and it's done. Easy. Just driving down the road, I thought that was weird. It's like a sand hand. In the concrete. <laughs> there I am, Barbie Active Wear, which is uh, opposite the vegan base that last time. This is where I came last time. It was really good. Here's my guy. I videoed you before, so I've been telling everyone about you in my videos. So look, here's my guy. This is the guy who's gonna cut my hair, make me look good. <laughs>
Oh, sexy. <laughs> Looking sexy now, good. So yeah, the guy's name is Issei Lee. Look, just a little, little trim. I didn't turn to cut anything off the top. It looks kind of fucked because it was all fluffy this morning. A nice little fade there, uh, yeah. So I thought I'd come down to Sight Grill to get some, some money. Um, if you do come here, you'll, you'll get to see some of the trains you might have seen on um, um, the tryouts for the Muay Thai and the MMA scholarship, which is fun, but that's why it's good being in Thailand. Being in the, in the Muay Thai and MMA community, you get to meet the people that you might have seen in uh, the tryouts or even UFC and stuff. You'll get to see them everywhere around Thailand. Not just in Tiger, but just being around. I go to the beach and I, I see people from other gyms or fighters from the UFC or fighters from one championship or fighters. That's why I've been in Thailand. It's just fucking amazing. I love it. And for some reason, I didn't film it when I was at that fight recently. Um, I don't know if you ever watched the tryouts, but there's a guy called John from this country. He won one of the scholarships at Mo uh, Muay Thai. I met him here before in Tiger. And then when I was at the fight, he was there, and I was chatting to him, just joking around with him. I forgot to, I don't know why I didn't film it with him, but it's like that, man, you'd be around at a fight, and then you'll see guys from the trials or other fighters, like I said, so it's great. See, as I'm eating food, it's just brought me to my point is, I bought loads of food when I came in. My idea was to buy food, because I thought, right, I'm on a budget, so I'm going to make it cheaper. Buy food from the supermarket and make it yourself. Now, I've made about three meals, and they've been shit, basically. Because the food out here is so nice and, and so affordable that doesn't seem worth it. And people told me as well, they said, you know, you'll probably just eat people that have been there live there and you probably just eat out. Um, it's true. I think it works out the same money and it fucking tastes a lot nicer than what <laughs> what I can make. I don't know about you, but so if you come to Thailand, maybe it's worth just yeah, eating out because there are places you can you can find some cheap, nice food. This isn't even that expensive, but you can get cheaper. I just cut my beard from the side in the mirror. Look at the look at the job that guy did. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I took a drive. I thought, hey, let's come to the beach again. This is Nahan Beach again. Coming in from another entrance because you know we like to change shit up. And just look how nice this is. It's like a what is it? A Tuesday. It's like Tuesday at like two o'clock. I just fucking come here. No, this is one of the main reasons I don't want to come home. Just having this, it's like 10 minutes from where I'm staying. It will be where I'm going to stay, it's going to be now at 15, 20 minutes. But there's other beach around, it's just one of them. And up there there's like a, it's like a bar where you can just chill out. This is, this is simple, this is a simple thing that makes me happy. Okay, so this is day seven, this is a week, this is a week into Thailand now. And I feel mad, mad, madly de-stressed. Now you must feel it too, when you go abroad, when you go on holiday, you relax, you don't do any work, or you don't, you know, you don't think about work or whatever. You feel chilled, you relax. But I'd say even when you're coming and playing like this and you're doing work still, maybe you're doing some online stuff, de-stress. Like, when I'm, at, when I'm home in London, I can never de-stress. I'm always constantly fighting the, fighting the unhappiness. Like, it's a struggle to be happy all the time. You know, you're always working for it. So you're always thinking, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. I've got to get some to some place. I've got to get to some place because that place is going to make me happy. So you're always continually looking for the future. And you're never living in now because where you are now is making you miserable. You just don't know it. When you get to a place like this, the sun, that's gonna make you happy, vitamin D, you've got simple things like the beaches, the sea. And then the other people are like that as well, they're happy because they're they're feeling the good they're feeling the goodness as well. And and you 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 get the vibe from everyone else and, and you feed off the vibe, you feed off the happy positive vibe, the positive, happy positive energy. That's why I think I've done so many things, mostly active in my life, because I truly believe that there's something out there that is for you, there's something out there that you'll find that you will, that you should be doing for the rest of your life as a career. Same with places, you should be going around the world and seeing other countries because I, I feel that you will find the place that you're meant to be in, the place that you're meant to live in, that the, the country that you're meant to be, you'll find it. 
It may even be where you are now. But if you're unhappy, guarantee that you should be somewhere else or you should be doing something else. And once you're there, you'll find it. So that's why you should never just stay in the same place, do the same thing. You should, you should travel out, you should adventure, you should explore places, things. And you should mix with different people because you never know the same thing. You might mix with the same people, they might make you unhappy, you might not know. And you, you, should, you should start mixing with other people and you'll find people that are on your wavelength you may not know. So you can find true happiness if you, if you go out and explore and do things that you may never have done before. You could be constantly unhappy the rest of your life and you may not even know. You could come to a place like this and just chill on the beach when you feel like it and be happy. So we've been here for about two hours. So now I'm gonna get on a ped, maybe just go back to the hotel and um, start editing some videos together. So yeah, just got home. I didn't realize until I was on the beach how knackered I was from yesterday's session. We had two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening. And like, yeah, I was surprised because I thought I won't be as tired, but I am. So if you come tired and do tire boxing and you train once even, and you're not used to the intensity, don't be alarmed if next day you're knackered, your body's tired. If you train twice, don't be alarmed as well if you're fucking knackered. I was surprised, but I'm knackered like today. It's only five o'clock. I've been tired all day, but that's a good thing. Uh, just needs means I've got to push it more and uh, get used to it and it'd be great. Just think if I ever come back to the UK and I've been trained like this, then I'll fuck everyone up.